Hey everybody, welcome back to another Nature's Always Right episode. Today is going to be about, as you can see, drip tape. As I'm sure you've discovered, working with drip tape and drip in general uh, is a little frustrating sometimes and it gets kinked. So I came up with a pretty good way to roll up your drip tape for the end of the season or if you're saving it or transporting it, something like that. So you want to be sure to save your drip tape roll that they give you when it's shipped to you. So here's mine and I've just got it up on a ladder with some EM conduit going through there. Uh, and then I've also shoved in some cardboard with some duct tape around it so that I can spin this because I want to be able to have control of spinning this so it makes it really easy to spool up all the drip tape. I also pre-made some little tape strips for myself because the tape's going to be really important for making this easy. I'll tape it and then be able to wrap it very tight and then tape it down. And I've got about eight different lines out there, so that's why I need the tape. I'm moving this drip tape left and right by tilting it slightly, and gravity is pushing the drip tape and allowing it to, to guide it a little bit. Okay, so now I'm actually going to try and use my drill and see if that'll help me. Putting on the lowest, slowest setting and running it in reverse. Hmm. I need a better way to connect the drill. Nice, that worked pretty good. And I'm just pulling it with my hand to keep tension. And that's basically as tight as I was doing it by hand. It's not bad. So I tape it on. And just for reference, I've got it on the drill, drilling holes, not driving screws mode, on one, power level one. Just so I have some control over this crazy thing. Oops. Gotta watch out for any major kinks. So if you can avoid getting kinks in your drip tape if, uh, before starting this process, that would be really good. Nice, this really works. There's gotta be a better way to connect the drill to this. If you guys have an idea of a better way to connect to this, please let me know. Or if you have a better way of winding up the drip tape as well, I'd love to hear your, the way that you do it. All right, so here's the final product. I actually have 10 45 foot lines that I was able to wrap back on here. You know, obviously I can't make it as tight as the factory does it, but it's pretty darn good and it didn't take too long. You know, obviously this is just a little quick idea I put together, but it shows you that the concept would work. And um, if I was going to do this for real, I'd build something out of wood that the spool would fit onto and make it so that it spins perfectly and, you know, has something that I can connect to the drill very easily. Since this is something that I rarely do, all my drip tape just stays in place. We don't put our stuff away for the winter. I'm not gonna be building a device, but I wanted to share this idea with you guys in case it would help you um, wrap up your lines or you know just keep them a little bit neater. Because if they have big kinks or twists in them and they sit like that for a long time, then the lines will eventually just get ruined because a little perforated hole gets in there. Also, you can use the same concept for rolling out the drip tape. So you might have seen in my other video about how I laid out the drip for this whole area. I used a wheelbarrow and some weights to help roll it out. Recently at the other property, I just used a little fold-out chair, put my bar across the arms of the chair, and then rolled out my drip tape. So that's just a really simple way to use the spool that it's already on there to make it really easy for you. 